So I'm going to show you something very simple. It's so simple that some of you may already be doing it, and others of you that have SFX may be able to do it. I'm going to show you the catalog I'm showing you is our sort of playground catalog. So there's a lot of nonsense on it that don't pay any attention to. Just pay attention when I tell you to. So the problem is, user looks up the serial in the catalog. They find all sorts of good stuff about what the physical holdings are, where they are, about previous and, and uh, uh, future titles of the serial. What they don't find is um, electronic holdings. They have to search a completely different thing to find electronic holdings. The, the linkers on which we have SFX. So the question is, how do you put that information in the catalog so they have to do that? And that's what you are about to see. If I could spell. So, this box at the top of the screen here, when this comes in, is loading from SFX through the SFX API. All that information there is from SFX is on the catalog. Um, the hardest part of this is being able to put stuff on your um, OPAC screen. You know, being able to hack your OPAC screen to add content to it. And the only other thing you have to be able to do is get the ISSN from the record you're looking at, because that's how it's, it's doing this ISSN matching. The next problem is that the information you see here, this available from 1992, actually isn't available from the SFX API. The SFX API doesn't provide that. Everything else I got through the SFX API. That information is not there. So to get that, I had to write, I wrote my own little PHP script, as it happens, that queries the SFX database directly. And so to do that, the other requirement is you have to get your SFX admin to give you MySQL database access to the SFX MySQL, which uh, some people have trouble with their institutions. And the other thing that means is this will break in SFX 4.0, because I had to sort of do direct database access like that. And kind of talk and URL, so that would be the right thing. Ridiculous number. <laughs> Normally, of course, the software does this. But I'm showing you the results of the little PHP I wrote that just talks to the SFX database directly to get that availability information provided in XML for MyScript. So now I can write other applications to use that sort of missing information from the SFX API also. The other trick here is that it's not like it's stored in the SFX database available from 1992. It's stored in a very arcane way, so I had to sort of reverse engineer how SFX generated it and then do it myself. Which I did get permission from XLibris to do, or at least forgiveness from XLibris for having done before I came here to show it to you all. Um, so I think this is a good example of trying to find a way to uh, intervene in what's going on sort of most efficiently, least effort for most gain. Because like many of you all, I don't have extra time to do all the really cool stuff you've seen too. So I figured out, well, this is something that did not take very long to do, although it took longer than I wish it had. But now that I've done it, if you guys have SFX and you meet all the requirements, you can take my code and probably do it too if you have some way to get it on the catalog, and I think it will. Uh, it's not deployed in our site yet, but everybody seems to think it'll make a pretty big difference for our users and for our uh, public services staff. So I actually still have almost two minutes for questions, because that was so simple. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, what's your catalog? Our catalog's Horizon, which no one else uses but us. Horizon actually makes it fairly easy to sort of add stuff to the screen. But uh, not no one else uses but us, but a few other people here use. It's one of the biggest selling in the world, yeah, necessarily yeah. in the larger academic market. Yeah, most of us here are academic libraries, don't have to use that, but we use it here in Chicago. Some of us are doing it Yeah. How many Voyager sites are here? Just Because I know that Ross Singer is very interested in kind of writing a front end of Voyager that uh, he could aim to I know Jim Robertson from NGIT is no longer in the library world. He's done a lot of stuff as far as yeah. getting stuff from other outside services there. So it's possible. Yeah. One, when I don't break that interface for an upgrade, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so if you do have a catalog, you can hack stuff onto somehow. And you know a little bit of PHP, and you can install PHP. And you have the SFX. And you can get SFX access to the MySQL database from your min. Then you can ask me for this code, and you can put this in your catalog too. <laughs>